Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're coming back at you with some royal tea that is absolutely piping hot. You know I always keep it real, so brace yourselves because this one is a doozy. So let's dive right into the latest drama involving the Duke and Duchess of Montecito, Eka the Royal Runaways Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. These two just can't seem to stay out of the headlines, can they? Although I suppose when you're desperately trying to be relevant and rake in those big bucks off your royal connections, courting controversy is kind of your brand. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now here's the tea. Harry and Meghan have hired a brand spanking new PR guru named Charlie Gibson to be their director of communications. Oh la la, what a fancy title, his main role. Being their official point of contact and trying to rehab their utterly trashed image in the UK. You know, the country they turned their backs on in the most melodramatic fashion possible. This move comes just before the anniversary of Harry's beloved Invictus Games, the one thing he did as a royal that was actually respected and meaningful. Clearly, someone advised the didn't do that having Britain hate their guts isn't a great look when you're trying to preach Invictus spirit from your California compound. But here's the multi-million dollar question. Why should anyone in the UK give a flying feather about what Harry and Meghan have to say at this point? These two left the monarchy citing privacy concerns and mental health struggles only to spend the next few years endlessly disclosing private family drama and airing grievances across every media platform possible. They accused the royals of racism, insisted they were trapped and miserable victims, and basically tried to burn the whole institution to the ground with their casual bombshell claims, all while continuing to use their royal titles to maintain relevance and line their pockets, of course. Real classy move there. Then there was the shouty lecture that awards show after making a gazillion environmental complaints about the royal family's private jets and excessive wealth, as Macon swan about dripping in blood diamonds. The hypocrisy was strong with those two. And let's not forget how they told Oprah that frequent royal staff departures happened, because everyone was just so jealous of their blessed union. Ah, uh -huh, sure. That must be why multiple staffers have called out their appalling treatment of employees behind the scenes. But no, it was totally jealousy. Speaking of behind the scenes, we all know Megan's infamous trying to put a kinder, family-friendly spin on her meanigan bridezilla behavior and bully accusations from former aides. Not the first time she's used that PR tactic and likely won't be the last. I could go on and on about their hypocrisies and contradictions, like preaching compassion while constantly lobbing insults or claiming they turned to Oprah because they weren't being heard only to then complain about lack of privacy. But you get the point. The stew are walking PR nightmares that have alienated both the US and UK audiences in their desperate bids for attention and cold hard cash. So now, the big mastermind plan is to bring in an expensive PR team in hopes of resetting the narrative and gaining some public trust back. Good luck with that. The saying you reap what you sow was made for situations like this. Because here's the hard truth. Harry and Meghan's incredible betrayals, searing allegations without proof, and never-ending thirst for profit off the royals have made rebuilding burned bridges basically impossible, especially with the Brits. Let's not forget how they even horribly missled the late queen in her final days with their deal drama. The only trust they've managed to erode is any last faith people had that they have a shred of integrity or loyalty. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposes on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.